Welcome Obscura from Instagram. We just watched your show, it was great. How does it feel now when you come on off stage? Yeah, thank you. Uh, it was really great mm? to play and we had a good time. Yeah. Can you please tell us the history of Instagram? We started in 2015, uh, me and the previous drummer. And I have been uh, writing some songs for a while and in uh, that year I wanted to create a project with those songs and I was uh, asking Trish to join me and in the beginning we were just uh, a two-woman band and um, we recorded Potestas Magicum Diaboli and yeah we started playing live after five months I think and later uh, the previous bass player and uh, the guitarist joined the band. What happens now in the near future with new album coming and gigs and stuff? We have a mix ready for a new album. The title is going to be Veil of Death Ruptured and uh, it's going to have seven songs. So uh, one of the songs we play today. This is a new song. It's uh, satanic music, uh, that's the main thing, and yeah, I would say it needs to be in some way extreme. Um, of course the, the char characteristics are the screams, grunts, the uh, extreme distortion on the guitars, the dissonance, but there's a lot of different styles of black metal. Uh, yeah, but. If it goes too far away from that, from the extreme, from the heavy guitars, I wouldn't consider it black metal. I would say it's, even if it's satanic, I would say it's satanic, some other genre. You have an incredible voice. Do you have some special technique that you do, or is it just coming from within you? I learned it by, uh, yeah, just watching other vocalists and trying, basically. What musical bands are your own inspiration when you write composed music? Well, mainly the old bands of the 90s, beginning 2000s, the second wave of black metal. So, uh, Mayhem, Gorgoroth, uh, the older stuff of Watain, and from the uh, newer bands, I really like Svarti Daudi, uh, I really like Urgahal and Endesma, which is a newer project of uh, Tonder Nefas, but just the old stuff. Uh, Miss Thierming, uh, yeah, there are so many bands, but those are my favorites at the moment. Where do you find inspiration to your lyrics? Uh, I've always been fascinated by Satanism since I was a teenager and since I started listening to black metal. And I always have the feeling in my life that there's a, a great power in the universe that supports me. But I would never call that God because I associate God with the religions of sheep, the the Christianity, the Islam, etc., uh, following the rules of a big institution, uh, and I think Satan for me is is very personal. It's a power in the universe that uh, comes through me when I write music, uh, when I write lyrics, and in general in my life. And it's a power that is freedom and uh, that gives me potential to realize uh, myself uh, the most as I can and um, it's it's the opposite of um, yeah the religion of sheep that wants to make people small and wants them yeah to behave like everyone else it's like the power of the ultimate freedom to live up to your own standards and to uh, realize your maximum potential. That's Satan for me, and I 
I feel that power coming through me when I make music, when I'm on stage and everything. Do you say that you kind of worship Satan or is it more the ideology that you were mentioning now that you live after? It's the ideology. Mm. I. Yeah, I, I see Satan as, as an entity, as a power, mm. but I don't think it needs to be worshipped because it's something that's inside of me and it can be inside of, of others as well, but it depends if they are open to it. It's a personal ideology and of course there are, there are others who share this ideology, but we are not a religion and we don't have rules and we don't have a system and we don't have a hierarchy and that's the big difference with the monotheistic religions. How do you look upon religion? For me it's a way to control uh, dumb people who uh, don't have self-discipline and uh, yeah if they follow the rules of some religion maybe they get a little bit more done in life because someone is telling them what to do but for me it's something for, for dumb people. The symbol you have Hannah in your forehead um, I know that means something to you. Can you explain? It's my personal situ. Uh, the inverted triangle is a symbol to summon demons, and uh, the the hooks kind of are mm -hmm. a symbol for snakes crawling out of the triangle. So uh, for me, it symbolizes uh, the power of Satan coming out of this triangle and the power of the demons and uh, entering uh, me. You practice the left hand path, is that correct? Uh, could you tell us please what the left hand path is and what does it mean to you? Well, <coughs> there's a lot of different interpretations of the left hand path um, but for me it is uh, what I just explained uh, realizing my maximum potential and uh, following my own rules, making my own rules um, but also uh, I practice magical rituals now and then not very often because I take it very seriously and I will not do such a thing for every little problem in my life but uh, I did this a couple of times to uh, focus the powers of the universe and also my own subconscious into some great goal I've been doing it for the band uh, among other things and focus all my energy on that and uh, create something great and I, I've i seen it works. So could you tell us a bit about the rituals? I've been making sigils, uh, visualizing very strong what I want and then drawing a sigil, a symbol uh, about this goal and uh, putting my blood on it and uh, saying some uh, yeah some spells but I'm not going to say them exactly here but uh, I made my own rituals um, but of course I am a little bit inspired by uh, a couple of books that I read about occultism and um, Alistair Crowley and uh, some other books. Where do you perform these rituals? On a cemetery and in my home. We all know what happened in Norway in the 90s. Uh, how do you look upon this church burning? It was necessary to make the black metal movement and the satanic movement well known. Maybe if it wouldn't have happened, the black metal would have been much more underground. So in that way I think it's a good thing. But um, I'm not necessarily pro-destroying antique religious buildings because despite the meaning uh, the buildings can look very interesting and be an interesting thing to, to see. So I'm not necessarily pro-destroying all of them, but I think in this particular case it was a good thing because it made black metal very big. Is there anything else you would like to share with the viewers? Yeah, I, I have. Mm -hmm. I cool. think a lot of people have a vision, have a dream, but a lot of them don't realize it because they are afraid of what other people think or um, the expectations of the society and I think uh, the world needs to change and people need to to listen to the power that's inside of them and start realizing what they really want and creating what they really want and um, 
I think black metal and Satanism and the freedom that it promotes uh, is something that people can hang on to to create the life that they really want, that they are really meant for. Thank you so much, Obscura, for joining us and best of luck with your uh, music career. Thank you too.
more guitar on my monitor, please.
your song. It's your fire.
abominations outside. Yeah. 
Let's run! Let it be! Good! Get out!
står det bara på Men det kan man landa lite. Jag har lite grejer över Ja, det ska vi göra. Ja, det är bra. I got lost just like his final tap. <laughs>